Hey guys, welcome to Neptune Systems booth here at MACNA 2016. Got some great things we're going to show you here at our booth today. Some stuff that we kind of announced last MACNA, which is funny, but we put it on the back burner and went forward with the new Apex and decided to do some, some extra cool things to it as we brought it back this year. The two things that I've got here on this board are the core and the FMM. And so I'm going to go through all of it with you and kind of talk it through. Uh, First and foremost, we got the core return pump. It's a DC uh, pump. It's going to come in two versions. It's going to come in the core 15, which is a 1,500 gallon per hour pump. Uh, super quiet, unbelievably quiet. Connects directly into one link. So if you have the new Apex, it plugs right into the Energy Bar 832. If you have already a one link with some wave pumps, it'll plug in there. Only 50 watts of power, and at six feet ahead, ahead it does 950 gallons per hour. So it's perfect for your medium size uh, aquarium that you might have. Uh, it also comes in the Core 20, which is 2,000 gallons per hour. Uh, it does have an external power supply and connects to the Apex, of course. But one of the coolest things about it is it's one of the first standalone products we're going to sell. So it's actually going to be a standalone return pump. So if you don't have an Apex yet, and you're not ready to get an Apex, you want to have the Neptune Systems gear, you can use this return pump and later on plug it into your Apex. So this here is the control module for the core. So it's a nice little compact module, has an up and down flow rate button on here, some LEDs, some status LEDs. This is what drives your core pump, and you plug your power supply in for the core 20. Now, you see all this crazy plumbing we have up here, it's really a demo system. Uh, to show off some of the flow metering in the fluid monitoring module. Now the fluid monitoring module has four different ports on it. Uh, those ports can have any combination of three different types of sensors. Either a flow sensor, a leak detection sensor that I have down here, or they can also have an optical sensor. So you can have an optical water level sensor. In this case, this first one we have here has these four flow sensors on it. It's got a quarter inch, half inch, one inch, and two inch. And at this point, it's looking like the one inch and the two inch will actually ship them with the unions, which is really nice. So it's ready to go right when you get it. Now, uh, the optical sensors. We're running this one as an ATO, and we have it with uh, our ATO kit. So that is a bracket with two optical sensors, one for the water level, one for basically an emergency, so you know if you, it's not working correctly. And then it also has a mechanical float valve in it that's above the water line. So should you have some malfunction in the electronics, you have a mechanical override that's going to stop the water from overflowing your sump. Um, all of this, again, is connected to the FMM. But the really cool part, the FMM can run standalone too. So now you can just plug the FMM in, plug the uh, sensors in, put it in your sump. Even if you don't have an Apex, it's going to work as a no button ATO don't even have to program it, don't even have to figure anything out. It's going to keep the water level at the correct level in your tank. Should something happen, like the water go past the upper sensor, it's got an audible alarm in it. And there's two ports still available after the two optical sensors. So you could plug a leak detector in there as well, even standalone. What we're showing here on this aquarium is three different lights that we're controlling with the new Apex. What's really neat about it is there are three brand new lights that have just come out recently that we're controlling already with the Apex. We're right on top of it. First one you'll see is the Radeon here, the Radeon G4 with the eight channels of light. Um, it connects up, uh, as some of you may know, through the WXM module to the Apex. In the next release of our AOS, you'll get that uh, ability to control the G4 right in the system. Next up is the AI Prime LED, HD LED, either one, um, also the uh, Hydra 52 and 26. All of those lights are now controllable from the Apex as well. Do not need any module whatsoever. You do have to have the new Apex to do it though. Um, you just plug them in, it'll join up to them, and you'll be controlling them all right from your Apex. The last one in the series right here is the MaxSpec Ethereal Light. This one is really cool because it's showcasing a brand new technology that we have that is going out there to lighting and pump manufacturers called IOTA. And IOTA stands for Internet of Things Aquarium. And it's a standard that we give to the manufacturers to say, if you'd like your stuff to work with the Apex, follow the specification, then when you plug in your light, connect it to the network, and put it in IOTA mode, the Apex can find it and it can control it. 
And that's exactly what we're doing here with this max spec light. And as you can imagine, this uses their little controller, IPv6 controller, um, and they're going to have the gyre working with that here pretty soon. So you'll be able to control with your Apex the gyre and the light all wirelessly, and you don't have to buy a single thing from us to do it. I'd like to thank Richard and Aficionado for coming by the Neptune Systems booth here at Magna 2016. We're having a great time. I know he's having a great time. Had a little flying problem, but that's okay. He's all up to date on the Neptune system stuff. Again. Supposed to say action. 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 <laughs> Ready? Yep.